Welcome, Moonflower. Carolyn here. If this is your first time to the Moonflower Path podcast, thank you for being here. If it's not your first time here, welcome back. I asked the community recently over on Instagram if a restful meditation here on the podcast would be helpful, and the response was a resounding yes. I get it. We're all pretty tired, and a dose of rest probably would feel really good right now. So, Please, after the podcast intro, enjoy this 10-minute meditation titled, I Am Worthy of Rest. Welcome to the Moonflower Path Podcast. This space is for the highly sensitive, the creatives, the earth-loving, the caregivers, the weirdos, the feelers, the change makers, and dreamers of the world. Here, we are all about guiding you to trust your body intuition so you can find home and shift culture. Through the exploration of somatic practice, self-care, and seasonal ritual, my hope is that you will be inspired to be in harmony with yourself and in a dance with the earth. I'm your host, Carolyn, and I'm so honored and grateful to be here with you today. Welcome, Moonflower, to a gentle meditation to help you rest. This could be a recording you listen to in bed before going to sleep, or it could be one you listen to midday when you need a little restful reset. This is a space to help you remember your worthiness of rest and your enoughness in simply being. I know that deep down you already know the truth in both those statements, but let it be okay if you've forgotten. And you're here to let your body remember. Please lay your body down wherever you want. You might already be in bed, you might be seated on your office chair, or curled up on the couch. Wherever you do find yourself, please do whatever you have to do to ensure that you feel comfortable and that you'll be able to truly be here for the 10 minutes of this meditation. Now, I'd like to acknowledge the realities of being a human. I know that there are deadlines to meet, bills to be paid, people to be cared for, and expectations to meet. That is the reality of being a human in this world, and I don't want to ignore any of that. Simply offer you a worthy break from it. In order to continually navigate the realities of living in the systems we live in, we need moments of remembering that our worth isn't tied to all of the ways we can do do and do. There is, of course, a contradictory grief found in that reality to think how sad it is that although my worth isn't tied to my productivity, to be productive is still something I have to do. So today, we balance it off with rest, stillness, and being, and hold space even for those thoughts and emotions that I just mentioned. This is about recognizing that you already do so much, that collectively we're all navigating a lot, and that is messy and beautiful all at the same time. So for this moment, please let yourself be carried into this space where just for now, you are held safe and given full permission to rest. I'm not asking anything of you. You're welcome to feel whatever comes up, Nobody needs anything from you here. Please give yourself permission to just be, just for now. Feel the support of the surface beneath your body, the walls that surround you and the roof above your head. Tell yourself, I am safe and held here. Let yourself sink into that support a little more. The eyes might close or at least soften. Now bring your attention to your breath. Notice the quality of the air that moves through your nose. 
travels down your throat and fills your lungs. Then watch it travel out of your lungs, back out your throat, and out through the nose. A gentle and unique rhythm that is all your own. In and out. In and out. Now, you could stay with this rhythm of breathing and this simple attention on your breath if that is feeling supportive. If, however, you'd like to invite in a bit more rest, for the next round, count the length of your inhale, then count the length of your exhale. Then, for the next minute, I will be quiet as you aim to lengthen your exhales by two extra counts compared to your inhales. For example, if your inhales are typically at a count of four, your exhale will then move on to a count of six. If the quietness for a minute feels like a lot, just stick with the counting and remember the fact that you set aside this time to be here. So be here, Moonflower. Now, let's bring your attention to your mind. Without passing any judgment or needing to know why you're thinking what you might be thinking, begin to notice what's actually happening in your mind. It might be thoughts as simple as narrating what's happening right now. I'm kind of feeling a little fidgety, or am I doing this right, or this is boring. Or it might be thoughts about the past, about the day, or about the future, about worries that have been present. For the next minute, again, I will be quiet. And you are giving yourself full permission to literally think anything. Doesn't matter what it is, give your mind free reign. Now, what would happen if, for the remainder of this meditation, you let any hold or grasp on your mind's thoughts go? What would happen if it were as simple as taking one big exhale to let any grasp you have on the stress, worry, or mind looping go? Just for now. Maybe it's not that simple, and that's okay too, 
Again, this is a no pressure zone, but why don't you try it on just for now? Take a deep inhale and on your exhale, just let it go. Now, I'm going to be quiet for another few minutes. It's okay if your mind wanders in a direction that feels interesting or supportive, but if at any point your mind wanders in a direction that feels unsupportive, come back to those long, big exhales. Remember your intention for this meditation. I am worthy of rest, and I am enough in just being. I'd like to end this meditation with a poem written by Morgan Harper Nichols. If there are days where you feel your body is too tired to fill the room with laughter and good stories in the way your heart wants to, it is okay to not be all you feel you have to be for everyone and to focus on breathing and being, knowing that even when you are quieter, and your smile comes a little slower, you are not empty. You are not any less significant. You are a traveler on a journey who is simply in need of rest, in the arms of the kind of peace where she is free to just be. I hope that however you move through the rest of your day, evening, or week, this gentle dose of rest and a space of no expectations has helped. Thank you for being here, Moonflower. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode of the Moonflower Path Podcast. I'm your host, Carolyn, and ways that you can find more support from me and this cozy community are all found in the show notes. Please consider rating, reviewing, and sharing this podcast with a friend. Those are the best ways to show your support for this free and accessible resource. Wishing you a gentle rest of your day, and I look forward to connecting again with you very soon.